Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to talk risk. And when we're going to talk risk, we're going to talk about the risk workspace and the new heat map workbench. I demo risk all the time and I show the heat maps all the time. And I just didn't know this was a new San Diego feature, but I'm going to show you now. This is pretty cool. I'm actually on the operational risk dashboard at the moment, right? So this is what we've traditionally known as heat maps in ServiceNow. I've got an inherent risk, I've got a residual risk, and they're interactive. So I can go click on things and actually then go look at the risk that it's pulling and putting on that heat map. So the heat map's actually changing based on the count of risks in that particular category. So what's new in ServiceNow, in San Diego, let's head over to the workspace for risk workspace, open that up, and right now, the heat map is empty. So I'm actually logged in as one of our demo personas. I think he's the enterprise risk manager, Andrew Taylor. And uh, what I hadn't noticed until uh, recently is this little guy, this little pop-out button. I just figured that was an open in a new tab button, never clicked on it. And uh, now I click on it and oh my gosh, you're not gonna believe what's here. So essentially, if ServiceNow has introduced this heat map workbench, and I've got a couple of things going on that I want to bring your attention to. First is how we view the heat map. So I could look at it by count like we were just doing on the previous dashboard or by index or by name. So this is actually showing the names of the actual risks. If I was to expand this, if you look behind my head, it's going to actually open up on the right hand side the details for that risk that was in that little quadrant on the heat map. So I have quick access to all the information that I need for that particular risk. So let's go back a little bit. What else can I do? I got my name, I can do by count, that's what we were looking at on the dashboard. Same functionality there, if I hover over it, I can see some details. Um, if I go and change this to index, I can get the index for those particular ones. So I've got this one over here, uh, the SOX FR distributed financial statements not GAP compliant. So I can go look into what that particular risk is. If I go back here, I can now toggle this particular heat map um, I'm going to change this back to name at the moment. We'll view the risk by um, residual instead of inherent. So I can now change that and see what's going on. Okay, we've got some highly likely uh, the same one for the gap. I know this is financial statements not issued in a timely manner. I'm looking at this by department. I could switch this to business service. There's no data available for that one. Demo fail. I could switch this to enterprise. So now I'm looking at all the enterprise risks. I could look at it through the operational risk management lens so we can see all those operational risks. I can change this to privacy. Look at all the privacy risks that we've logged in the system under privacy management. And I've got uh, some process risk assessment. I've probably no data for that one yet. It's no results found. Let's go back to the enterprise risk before we wrap this up. I wanna show you a couple other things. There's the filter. So if you wanted to come in and start filtering what shows up on this heat map, you could do that, set any condition on any field on the table and uh, we'd be able to filter those. So if you look behind my head too, I've got some um, saved filters. So I got a list view here of the risks that are actually showing in this map. I can search them, but I have saved filters if I had any saved ones. Uh, let's just see what that looks like real quick. We'll just say where the assignment group is um, or approver group. We'll just do approver group and we'll choose a group here, analytics, um, just to save this. So I'll save the filter, we'll give it a name, analytics approver group, and now that should show up over there on the right for my saved filters, if that's gonna work like I think. Yep, so I got it there, I'll cancel that, and now I can just apply this filter and hit submit, and it'll apply that. There's probably not gonna be any, yeah, no risk found for the analytics approver group, but you get the idea there. We can set those filters and, and do what we need to there. That's it for this one, heat map workbench in the risk workspace. I think this is really neat. It takes a heat map to a whole new level and lets you really dive down into the details for what you need to get uh, call your attention to around managing those risks in the workspace. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.